Hi, I'm Trina Gunzel. I'm a master teacher and author illustrator, and I'm also the mother of a type 1 diabetic child. Uh, my son Wyatt was diagnosed when he was four, and we're coming up on his seven year anniversary of living with type 1 diabetes this November. So this time of year, I think my heart just is a little bit more troubled because I, I really want to cure for my son, and I see families struggling with type 1 diabetes that I meet all the time. and most of the time we handle it really well um, the last couple of weeks have been a little bit challenging because we've had just some issues with um, sites getting infected and his scar tissue is building up because he's been living with us for almost seven years now so we've had some times where um, we put a site in and he's not getting his insulin because the skin the tissue there is not responding to the insulin um, he also just finished a big day up at St. Louis Children's Hospital where he's participating in another study and that will go on for the next two years. So um, my son is amazing. He's so brave. He's so courageous with this and he always has these little pearls of wisdom. And I think as his mother, it's, it's hard because I wish I could take this from him, but I can't. And so I wanted to do um, just kind of a fun outdoor art therapy, if you will session today just to kind of encourage people that are going through struggles in their life. Um, maybe you're on a path that you didn't picture. That certainly is my situation. This is not the path that I would have chose for myself or my son or my family, but this is where we are. And so I know that God has a purpose for our pain. And even though I may not always understand that plan, I am trying to share this message of hope and encouragement for people that you can overcome struggles and challenges and um, use my teaching skills and background to help people. So I hope that we can have kind of some fun today with um, almost like the humor. If you have type 1 diabetes or you'll see some of these materials today, I'm going to try something I've never done before. I create art all the time and I love to do illustrations and a lot of people are really curious about the lives of artists. Um, I know for me personally, I always kind of balance between the super happy, energetic, and super down, um, depressed uh, personality. And I really try not to stay in that depressed time because I know that's dangerous. Um, and so, you know, I was really struck when Robin Williams passed away because I know that he had such a, a lighthearted personality, but there was obviously a dark side there too. So. I think art can be a very helpful way to kind of go through those emotions and like last night I just had to cry I couldn't help crying it was you know when I went to bed and I woke up crying and I just you know I want my son healed so bad and we're trying so many different things we're doing the best we can with all the advanced technology out there but um, there's not a cure yet so today I'm going to be using some materials this is actually from one of his site changes i'm going to use this to kind of maybe stamp some circles or something for fall and then uh, maybe create something out of this end of that uh, i've got a needle we always keep syringes you know if this scares anyone this might be a way to kind of overcome that fear we're going to use some of these materials to create some art today so we'll see what we can make with this we have tons of test strips all the time so i saved some of these bottles Maybe we can use this to stamp and paint or something, maybe a pumpkin or something for fall. Um, and then we've got tons, oh my goodness, we go through so many batteries. And this is also a little cartridge that has the needles in there for his finger poker. So I have some of these. I'm going to try this out and I'm going to surprise my son. Um, we're going to do this activity together and I'm going to give him some of these materials and just let him create. But I thought this might be a fun way. If you are type 1 diabetic or you know someone who is, you want to share this. Or if you just want to create some art just for fun, well, if you have some crayons, you could do this. If you don't have any paper, but maybe have a paper plate, you could just use that for your canvas today. Um, if you get these end light sensors like we do in the mail and you want to upcycle this, there's enough paper right there. You could use this and make a card or use that for your little canvas. So today I'm just out here on my deck. I'm upcycling a piece of cardboard and I've just got my little mobile um, kind of a mobile easel. I just put it here on my porch and I'm actually going to tape this paper to get kind of an effect. I'm just going to paint right over the top of that. So I love having acrylic paints. One of my good friends, Melissa Rippey, if you watch this out there, she encouraged me to just get some paints and, and just get doing it. So I've been practicing and just enjoying creating with acrylics. But like I said, if you don't have acrylics, just grab some, some pencils or colored pencils or if you just want to sketch on paper, um, I'm going to be using a palette of acrylic 
paints that I put out on this paper plate and some of these materials. I just made a quick little sketch. Maybe you can see this. Um, I love trees. I love all the symbolism with the roots and um, I'm going to be doing some hills and then the branches. I like to do four because my family has four people in it. You might want to stick with however many, whatever's your birth month or maybe you want to make branches to represent something symbolic for you. But I'm going to kind of be doing this message today about just these different um, paths that we go through in life and kind of those challenges, the roads that we have to go down and sharing some of these with you. So I'm going to try for the grass hill. I'm just going to use this battery. Um, you can use any materials you have. You maybe have pencils, you want to stick with paintbrushes, that's fine. But I'm just going to be using some of these to see kind of what different things I can come up with. So I'm going to be using the battery to go through and I'm just going to kind of be sketching or painting out the grass hill here and kind of see what kind of texture I can get out of this section. I've never painted using these materials before so I just want to kind of try this out and see what I can get going here. So this will be for the grass on each section of my tree. And like I said, if you're at home, maybe you're coloring this, maybe you are using some other materials you found, maybe you could use a pencil or you want to use some leaves that you found outside. Maybe we'll try the side of this just to kind of see what effect we can get. I kind of like that. Get some good texture on there too. Okay, and then I think I'm going to be making my tree in the center. But before I do that, I want to add some, a little bit of texture with the blue. I'm going to mix a little bit of blue here and white and kind of just mix that in the center of my palette. And I might use some brushes, but I might just, I'm just going to kind of see how this goes. I'm kind of using like a stretch technique here just to add a hint of color, but I'm not trying to fully cover this page with paint. And then I'm going to be going over this with my brown when I actually create my tree. So it's just going to kind of give me a neat textured look. I'm not going for anything formal. Just want some background there. So I'm kind of liking how that looks. And then I think I want to add a little bit more color down here with fall. This might be a fun time to try out this larger one. I was kind of excited. This is actually from his one of the insulin sites. There was just insulin in here. Um, but I'm going to use this to kind of make some different orange, maybe circles around the bottom here. Kind of see what we can come up with that. Maybe this could represent some pumpkins or just some different leaves falling. Maybe some color down there. And then I think I want to kind of strike it with some mixed yellow and red into that. I'm just taking the end of this site and I'm just grabbing a little bit of each color here, red, orange, and yellow. <laughs> and I think I just want to kind of blend that along the bottom. Kind of cool. Alright. And then for the tree, I want to use his actual syringe for this. I've got one here with the needle bent. And then I've got one with the actual tip of the needle still on there. And my boy is so strong and he inspires me. And I think that he would really love this if I can find a way to actually use this needle to be for something other than giving him his insulin. We save these needles. My boy is on a pump now. He's been on a pump since he was about... I think it was six when we were finally able to do that. Um, but we did shots for two years, and I know a lot of friends. I actually have an awesome cousin I look up to you out there that he still does shots. And I know a lot of people who do. So um, maybe for kids or people who are afraid of needles. I was terrified of needles, and then, you know, my son gets diagnosed as type 1 diabetic. So hello. I wish I would have got my degree in nursing or you know maybe I can just get an honorary endocrinologist um, degree after living with this for uh, seven years 24 7 but um, I was terrified of needles and we found something really cool called um, inject ease that my son loved and it kind of hides the needle so when you go to give their shots it's not as scary you know for the adult or the person the kid who's having to do it 
Um, but that might be a fun way to just kind of do something with the needles, the material, instead of having to just get it injected to do something so you're not afraid of them. I'm going to be using all the parts of this. I'm just going to kind of see if I can pull some of these things out. There's the tip here. Maybe I can use that to dip it in a little bit more um, brown to kind of make the arms, the arms, the branches, you know, of my tree here. And if I want to fill this in with a little bit more paint after I can. But I kind of like the swirling effect of the branches where they go around. And I can enhance that with my brush. So I like the way that turned out. I'm going to grab a brush here just to give it some more specific detail. And I don't know about you, but I, I can't really paint unless I'm getting dirty. So um, it actually makes me feel better. It's like the more messy I get, the better my soul feels. So I'm just going to kind of keep going with that idea. And I'm dipping it in the brown and just kind of swirling it around. You can add more paint to your brush if you like. And like I said, the thing is, every piece doesn't have to be framed or put on your wall. You certainly can, but maybe you want to do a scrapbook of just, you know, some of these special art therapy moments where you just kind of delve in and, and do something for yourself. Just create something that makes you feel good, that makes you feel like, you know, you're in control of something. I'm in control of what I'm using these materials to make right now. And I'm in control of the way that this piece is going to turn out. I'm allowing it to kind of take shape and take form. I didn't come out here with some special plan of, you know, this perfectly set out of what I was going to make with you. I just wanted to do something fun together that was outside and that I know I can use with my son later to just encourage him. I know that he'll get a kick out of being able to use his his diabetes supplies to do something other than inject his body. So I know he's going to really have a good time with this. I'm going to go ahead and as I'm finished with these paints, dip them in a little bit of water and see what other materials I can use. I think, oh uh, yes, the test strip. We go through these. These are actually a dollar a piece. And so uh, to be able to use them for something after is kind of fun. Again, I'm just going to kind of go through and dip this to kind of highlight my tree. I want to grab a little bit of orange, maybe some yellow, some blue, mix it a little bit. And I always try to think of, okay, which side is the sun going to be on? Which side do we want it radiating from so we can give this tree some light source? So maybe let's just bring it in from this side, I guess, this time. I'm going to go ahead and add some highlights to my tree here. And that's just going to make it come alive. I don't know. How are you feeling out there? Are you enjoying getting to create something today? I know I'm just feeling better. I feel better getting to be outside. I feel better getting to focus on something that is, you know, outside my little head. Because sometimes I just tend to get in my head and think, you know, I can save the whole world's problems and I can't. That's not my job. That's God's job. And so I need to kind of let that go and remember my place in this world and I think sometimes that's a little bit humbling to do that but I can do my part and you know for my little family that's encouraging them and doing the best I can and I have to take care of myself so I hope you're getting that message too. do something for you you have to keep some gas in the tank as my husband always says um, I'm going to use this little cartridge to kind of make a heart here in the center and then I can fill that in maybe it's a symbolic heart it would just be kind of a little dot to have that in there. And I think I want to also add maybe some texture with some leaves around this tree here. So we've got the dots that we can fill in using the top of the, it's just actually the cover for that needle, which is kind of neat. And like I said, I know my son is going to get a kick out of this because now instead of these materials just being used to give him his insulin, he's going to be able to get some joy from those too. So I hope if you know anybody that would benefit from this little art experience, you'll share it with them. And if you want to give me some feedback back on my author page, 
um, I also started a new blog. If you just go to www.trinagunzel.com slash blog, I'm going to be offering some trainings and I've already posted some free resources and materials there that you can access right now and be able to go and use some of these fun projects for fall. I'm just posting a lot of neat things to encourage families and teachers. If people need training, if teachers need some training or parents who are trying to homeschool or just make the most of those intentional moments with your kids. I know we get home from work and it's so busy and um, I used to do that too. I was just gone all the time and so I know when my kids um, were home I just wanted to make the most of that with them and now I feel very blessed to be able to work from home and homeschool my kids. You know that was another I guess benefit well, for sure, that God knew and I didn't because I was not ever planning on homeschooling. That was not in my plan. Um, but my husband, my, my son is too sick in public school. He touches everything. <laughs> His ducks are laughing. We have a little farm, too, because my son loves ducks. So we've taken on raising ducks for him. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> but by homeschooling, I get the benefit of lots of time with my children. And now I'm going to put my masters into work by sharing resources that I'm creating for them, their custom curriculum. I get to share that with other people that need that, um, those ideas and those materials. So I'm excited about that. That's kind of this next chapter that I'm going through, this next path in my life, the next process that I didn't know if I was ever going to go down, but that's the word of mine. So if you have materials, sometimes I like to use like a Q-tip works good for this too. Um, I think the only one I didn't use yet was just the bottom piece of this and the alcohol wipe that we have. So I'm going to take that and maybe add a little bit more green down here. Maybe just kind of put that in just to kind of add another element of texture here. And whatever you're doing, just, you know, have fun with it. Feel free to experiment. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Life isn't perfect, but it can just be something fun you're doing for you. Um, I'm going to kind of see if I can make a cool, like, swirly heart stamp with these colors. And then maybe add that bigger circle around this one in the tree. See how that turns out. So that's kind of cool. All right, so... I hope that you had fun. I hope your hands got dirty. I would love to see posted pictures of the trees that you made. Um, I hope you enjoyed creating some art with me today. And when I take this off, it's just gonna have kind of a neat effect if we want it to be a little bit um, thicker around the edges. So it looks kind of framed. We could go ahead and paint just over this tape here. And then when I peel that off, I'll actually have kind of a, a cool edge so I'm going to go ahead and do that on this last, last little bit of time here. You could pick any color you want for that little frame that you're making. And I hope, like I said, by the end of this, your troubles just seem to kind of melt away. Whatever was going on, I hope you feel like things are a little more possible right now. I hope you feel like your heart is a little bit lighter because you got to go outside and create something beautiful. And if you get a chance to share them, I'll kind of give you a peek of what that might turn out like. There you go. So you're going to kind of have this neat edge frame there. Um, if you get a chance to take a picture of yours, post it on my Facebook page. I'd love to see it. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a better night. God bless.